Good evening, friends. It's Chris Angel coming at you for another episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us. And tonight, yes, tonight, we're talking about practice. It is all just practice. So I um, am working with a nutrition coach. Uh, shout out to Kara Sorensen, uh, who has been through my Groundswell Method Intensive program. And she has a program called Body Wisdom, which is incredible and uh, is a really unique approach to um, health and nutrition. I've uh, done a ton of stuff over the years as it relates to meal plans and um, body composition and stuff like that. But uh, this appro- I've never done this approach and it's really cool. It goes through metabolic balance and all sorts of different things to get your body uh, working the way it needs to work with very specific um, instructions for your specific body. So love that. I start in uh, a week. So in a week from now, I will actually start my program, but I now have my plan and I am uh, I'm looking at the different um, supplements I need to buy, the different uh, uh, menu items, I guess, right? Like my grocery list. There you go. Grocery list. That's what I was looking for. Looking at my grocery list. And <clears throat> so tonight I started, uh, I, I created a mock meal based on the number of grams of protein and the number of grams of vegetables and fruit and uh, stuff I would be eating. And I just, I was playing with measure. I weighed it out. And uh, I cooked it and did all that stuff, and I, I was just trying to get a feel for what is like, what is it? What does the amount look like? Like when I tonight I cut some cabbage, and then I'm like, what's 145 grams of cabbage look like size wise? And then I had 115, uh, 145 grams of pulled pork, and I that's actually not my meal plan, but again, it was just a protein. I was looking at it, weighed it, looked at the size of it. Um, looked at uh, I think it was 95 grams of raspberries. And I looked at what that was. So. Uh, very specific, right? But I was just playing with it. I was just playing with it. I was practicing. I don't. I have all week to practice. I'm just getting used to it all, and I'm looking at it all. And it's funny because I thought this is this is very low pressure right now for me just to get in here and play with this to practice this. And then I thought about how in business we often it's never it, in business it never feels like practice. It always feels like it counts. Right, like it, it, you never feel like you can practice in business, because because the next ad you run, the next post you make, the next consultation you have, the next discovery call you take, it all feels like it matters, and so it never feels like practice. It always feels like the pressure is on, and that can be challenging, right? Because if you live your entire uh, professional life inside of those types of uh, pressure situations, you burn out. It's exhausting. I can remember uh, for, uh, for for so long, oh, even now, I just always feel like I'm on. And um, it got me thinking about this whole world of practice. And if I went back in time, when I was a kid, I played soccer uh, from first grade on through uh, through like my sophomore year in high school. And I remember in, in sports, you actually have practice. It's like, okay, I'm going to soccer practice. And you play, you practice like, you know, every day of the week except one, and then you have a game one day of the week. So it's like five days of practice um, and one one day that's a game. And so there's lots of practice in sports, right? And then you play your game in first grade and you're like, oh, this is game time, this really matters, this is a big deal. But when you get to second grade, what you realize is that even game day in first grade was what? Was practice for game day in second grade. And so in second grade, you have five days of practice, and you have one game day. And so all the practice stuff, you do the drills and everything, but then you have your actual game on Saturday and you have a whole season of that. And you feel like in those game days that it really matters, like, oh, we won the game or we lost the game, whatever. But by the time you get to third grade, guess what? You realize that all the game days and all the scrimmages and all the practice was just what? It was just practice for third grade. And do you see how this same pattern could keep evolving this way throughout your entire life? Right? So by the time you get into your sophomore year in high school and you're playing soccer there, you could actually, if you could step back enough and see it, you could actually see that your entire life of soccer had all been practice for your sophomore year of soccer. Now, take that same analogy, because I stopped soccer in my sophomore year. So now, take that same analogy and put it in business. And can you see that you showing up every day to your business now? feels like it counts. It feels like it matters. It feels super important. But when you get a year down the road from now, can you look back, can you step back enough and then look back on your life to realize that your entire last year, your entire last five years, were all just practice for what's next. 
It's all like it's, it's 2019 right now, right? In two months, we will be in 2020. And it's all just practice for 2020. But guess what? You go through 2020 and you, you live your life and you run your business and it's all just practice for what? For 2021. So your entire life is this game of expansion. And every time you show up to your business, you could treat it like this is a do or die life or death situation. And you could stress yourself out and burn out or, or you could show up with a more playful attitude towards the things you're doing in life. Don't feel like the next video you have to do has to be perfect because you're going to stress yourself out. It's all just practice. Like where I spend my time with people is in the space of marketing, right? Because I feel like in order for you to spread your important work in the world, you have to get good at articulating your message. And if you're not good at it, then you're going to have a hard time producing the result. But, but that being said, some of you put so much pressure on yourself in marketing through videos and blog posts and however it is that you market that you, you can't access the creative side of you because you're putting way too much pressure on yourself. So if you could step back and realize that you have a year, this year to practice, and then the next year you have to practice. And in all of that practice, you will produce results. You will produce results. And it's all preparation for what's next for you. So just take a deep breath, right? Just take a deep breath and realize like, okay, tomorrow's post. You can make a video tomorrow. Let's do a video tomorrow. If you haven't done a video in a while, let's do one tomorrow. And notice what feelings come up for you. Do you feel like, ah, that's a pain in my butt? Or, oh, I'm really nervous and anxious. Or, I don't have anything to say. Like, what do you notice? Then, then reframe that. Reframe that into, it's all just practice. It's all just practice. And today, you may suck. And tomorrow, you'll suck a little less. And next year, you'll suck a little less. And it's all preparation, right? Because no one's perfect. So, From now until the day you die, you could become like masterful. You could become the Bruce Lee of marketing and you'll still have another level to go to by the time you die. And you can take that on in your next life, right? But what I'm saying here is that you should start to access your creative side. Start accessing your truth and your passion and share it with the world. Not because it's perfect, but because it's practice. If you'd like help with how to practice, I have some frameworks over at my free course called Marketing for the Rest of Us. The course, it is an appetizer to a six-week intensive program that I lead uh, with you in a group of 25 others where we actually go to work on your marketing and we practice a lot. But by the time you get done with those six weeks, you're feeling a complete shift and change in how you relate to your marketing and how you relate to your message. Everybody that comes out of that program feels clear and confident and inspired compared to how they started that six-week program. So if you're looking for more clarity and confidence in your marketing, I highly recommend you apply for my six-week program. The place to start is with my free course, Marketing for the Rest of Us, the course. And you can get that tonight starting uh, right now at groundswellmethod.com. Thanks for hanging out with me here tonight. Here's to you and all your practice. See ya.